February 7022 and the carts in our camp cart parking are wearing out dangerously. Hello everyone, I call myself Sonaskind and I seem to have moved myself into a bit of a pickle. Uh, these carts are close to wearing out completely and uh, once they do, um, there's actually seems to be no way to get the metal parts that the smithy is making into the carpentry which I need to repair the carts. So that's a problem. Um, I think we should have enough nails now to actually complete this uh, carpentry. So I'll set this to just making metal parts because we desperately need to repair those carts. That's all we need to do right now before we do anything else. Um, as sad as it is, um, that's just the way life is right now. Uh, we do have um, someone available, so we can set this to hire as many p people as we can, and we need to repair those carts. It has to be done. And we'll tell you... Oh, no. It can only be done with the cart shed. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. We need to supply you somehow like this. And someone needs to bring you stuff. Okay, so you are getting wood. That's at least good. And uh, let's make sure that at least one cart stays uh, viable here. That's really important. Where are you taking those carts, man? Are you taking it to uh, put stuff in here? Okay, that's kind of fine, I guess. Uh, you're making metal parts. You're picking them up. That's good. Because then I think you will start to repair one of these. That's really important. We're really waiting now until... Okay, so you have some metal parts. In that case, I'm fine with starting to build again. Because it means that at least there is enough wood in here to repair a cart. That should happen at some point now. And... Uh... Oh dear. Um, can I please force a repair on one of you? If you'd like to do that. And I think this one now also needs repair, so that's a yikes. A very big yikes indeed. Okay, so we'll also start hiring here again. So that there are jobs available and then when the house is complete, people can keep building uh, by hand, I believe. But let's uh, force repair on all of these. Because that needs to happen. And I would really like Facil Peretz here to uh, to pick up one of those carts for work. Yes, there he comes. Repairs a cart. If there's no god, then who created all of this? Well, you did, my man. You are instrumental in uh, making this uh, town happen. So good on you. Uh, that means I feel fine slotting this one up as well. And then we'll get the town hall. And then we'll get these... Um, yeah, then I'm fine with uh, continue everything, continuing everything again. Okay, thank goodness for that. Our carts are back in business. And I can uh, stop uh, hiring everyone in here. Okay, we can get rid of these logs. We don't need those anymore. People have houses they can rest in. And we can also maybe get rid of this well. Well... Do we need to? I mean, we do have a well over here. I'll see. Once we get rid of the camp center and get rid of the camp storage, we might think about it. Um, no cart shed built. I see. Can we make empty, please? Uh, really make empty? Yes. Because then it will be removed. We can think about other stuff. The cart parking is now also uh, being worked on. And here is a new house will be completed very soon. There we go, another house. So someone should move in there fairly soon. Um, I think the Artyukhiv is also new here. Uh, no carts, that is correct. Because we will move those in here. And then... We can also... Order another cart. Smithy, you can start making nails again, please. We need those. 
and people can start providing nails for the town hall, which will enable us to work on our economic situation, because right now we're kind of just bleeding money. Um, can I see treasury? Yeah, we're bleeding money right now. And we'll work on that uh, new family setting into our town, the Mitsko family. Uh, Pilip, Radana and Opanas, who can actually already work as well. So that's great, but there are a lot of open vacancies right now, so... Um, right now we just need everyone to, uh, to work on all the stuff. And it's just great that the uh, carts are back in business again, because those are very necessary to move around goods at a good pace. Yeah, we need to work on nails, my guys. Where are you? So, someone's working. But not sure what you're working on. Not enough charcoal. That is, of course, a problem. That's obviously important, because otherwise our smithy can't work. So maybe let's put in another charcoal pit. Uh, where is it? Charcoal pile? Kind of slot that in there. Because right now we actually don't have a use for this guy. We can get rid of this uh, camp cart parking that is now filled up by these carts. We have four carts now doing their thing, but we need more nails. Is there anything that doesn't need nails? Yeah, no, we need a bunch of nails. So we really need this charcoal pile to finish, because that's holding everything up at this point. I've slotted in two more charcoal pits, charcoal piles, just to uh, make sure that uh, right now we're just struggling with the charcoal, although now it's being used, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, we just need to uh, make sure that the tempo goes up there so that we can keep working on nails. Um, because yeah, we're struggling there. Um, after the town hall, we definitely need those two houses. Slotted in a trading post, which uh, makes sense here in terms of uh, coming into the little township. Then another house, and then we'll be working on a farm, which I hope uh, to have done by... Mm, I, I hope the start of the winter, but definitely um, at the latest before the next uh, uh, season of uh, sowing in everything. So that's important. But we're working on this uh, on this town hall. More, more nails are coming in. In fact, since you have enough for a repair, we can put this down for now so that I'm definitely sure you will work on nails. There's another 10 incoming, another 20 incoming, and they're constantly being picked up by the constructors. So I've definitely played this suboptimally uh, in terms of not getting the carpentry right. I think part of that is that the houses were so far apart that the uh, builders had to move a long way to uh, build everything. But uh, it'll just be a bit of a slower town than uh, than some people can can do it. It's not about the min-maxing, it's about that in the end it will look very nice. I'm, I'm already envisioning like a nice uh, city center on this uh, peninsula with a couple bridges outside, good nice little trading port, um, and there is the town hall, which is important because it enables us to hire a counselor, which I want to be a woman, and uh, uh, it doesn't say anymore who our mayor is. You should still be the mayor, right? Yeah, yeah, you're the mayor. Um, so now I can set uh, more economic stuff. I definitely want to... Uh, Lower the wage. I think for now, I'll try and keep it uh, somewhat uh, manageable. Like this, uh, I I do slot it down a lot, but don't want to put it down too much. I will slot our wealth tech threshold at fifty, and demand quite a bunch of people of the people who uh, make that much money. Uh, seems okay. And then we'll see how uh, this uh, evolves. Usually the meta is to make your economy really small. Just in terms of realism, I think it'd be 
weird if suddenly we gave people a, a tiny fraction of a fraction of what they go, used to be paid. Um, I think this is still like in the realms of plausibility, so to speak. Um, but yeah, so we're uh, we're toiling away here, and uh, let's try and find a counselor here. Uh, we just need a couple more houses to do that. Again, not enough charcoal, but you are getting charcoal from here, so that's good. So now at least the smithy can keep working. That does mean that our firewood is uh, starting to be uh, taken away. But that's fine, we can also open some vacancies there if we need it. First, work on two houses, this one and this one over here. So we can fill up another commune. Okay, you need water, but you're getting it. So let's look at the guys uh, building this. Sadly, it's, uh, it's only guys who can build. I think what could be a nice feature is uh, to have a toggleable setting where you can set the game to like follow these historic uh, um, like role patterns where the men build and the women do um, mostly uh, um, like household like tasks or getting a thatch and stuff and you can also uh, like flip it like in uh, Crusader Kings 3 as well and uh, you could maybe uh, uh, make uh, make it uh, I guess unisex or you could say or uh, basically neutral where everyone can do anything I think that could be a nice nice touch but I do understand that if you have to have one setting then going the historical route makes sense Okay, so there's another house where we can get more migration into. Again, we're we're making a lot of crops, so I'm very happy about that because it means we don't necessarily need the farm right this instant. But we will want it relatively soon. First, let's get this village house and then I will want the trading post. It's in the queue right now and people can start bringing their goods in here. New family into our town, it is the Pocatillo family with Vadim, Kristina and Sviatoslav and Danilo should also still be uh, yeah, able to work. Yes, he's working in fact already in the construction, the legend. So good on him. Um, we're still emptying this storage apparently because we don't want to throw away that iron for sure. Another little lull where people are just getting resources. Again, you can notice how far this is away from town. In fact, I might want to place a couple more benches in here as well. Now let's get this house, then we'll get the training post, then we'll get another house, a farm, a house, a granary, and a house. And then I'll feel kind of okay about the progress in 7022. Definitely we just did something not ideal in 7021 and that's fine. Um, at least I've managed now. I actually am recording this for the second time before because the first time I ordered a cart and then I just didn't have the metal parts to actually get that cart. Uh, there weren't enough there. And uh, the, uh, the carpenters couldn't take in the metal parts apparently because maybe you need a cart to, to haul in metal parts. I don't know exactly. But at least we kind of soft, I kind of soft lock myself there. So, village house complete. Let's see someone else move in again. Really like these gardens. In terms of space, it's definitely not, uh, not ideal, but I like it this way. And now let's work on the trading post so we can trade with the other cities on this map, which are Mereva, Barvinkove, Panutine, uh, Balaklia, and Drakachi. And there's a new family settling in this town, is the Petrizia family. So we could say this is the Artyukhev commune, whereas this is the Kalinyuk commune. But uh, Mr. Kalinyuk Andri is of course our mayor, and we do now have a, uh, a councillor, Radana Mitsko, who uh, lives in this uh, commune. And I think she bought food there. Now, we are waiting for this trading post. Let's see that get done.
And to be exact, um, you can trade with Merefa, Balaklia and Derkachi with the trading post. With Panyutina and Barhevikova you need a trading dock, I believe it's called. Which we will in due time be able to get over here. But uh, for now, we'll just uh, deal with the land cities. Where we can get a couple of nice things. And we basically just wait until they send in their traders and we trade with them. But that will be good for us. Oh, and I really like this. I, I'd forgotten all about this. They actually build up scaffolding, which they use to get up uh, to the top. And then as the building completes, it takes away the scaffolding again. And I, I love that little touch. That they actually build, like, uh, um, build things you need to actually build the building. If that makes sense. No, the, the scaffolding. You don't see that in a lot of games. And look how useful these cards are every time someone brings in a lot of goods. Now, um, Opanas Mitsko is going to help actually build the stuff. We still have... we do have an open vacancy, apparently. Um, so that is a thing. Where is that vacancy, actually? It's in... here. Okay, interesting. Also, we might want to get... A cart parking in here. I think that could work. Mm -mm -mm. So we still need more wood and more clay. How's the wood coming along here? Oh yeah, yeah, plenty of wood, plenty of clay. That's not the problem. And I think also a warehouse in here makes sense. We build it next to the granary. No, uneven terrain. I was... I kind of felt that coming. We can get it like this. Sure. Seems good. And then we can get another bench right in this uh, corner. It's a little slanted, but uh, it works. Wait, is it actually under the... Uh... No, it's right in the, in the little nook. So it's a little... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's a little crooked, but uh, it works. <gasps> so we're over halfway through uh, building the trading post. It's a big, big building. And it still needs, uh, still needs a little bit of wood as well. We're getting there, we're getting there. All the clay is now underway. So that's nice. And getting the trading post, uh, I think, should really help us. We can start uh, selling the charcoal we have. Good stuff, indeed. Getting a lot of charcoal is a relatively easy way to, uh, to uh, trade for money, I feel. So I like that. Meanwhile, we're buying up all this stuff. Do we actually have a place to sell all these things we have? I don't think there's a market yet for marrow, so we should do that. Get a market stall where we sell marrow. Uh, marrow. Honey is in there. Onions in there. So, construction complete. The trading post is done. So, that's great. So, definitely, I think we'll take charcoal. And we will take... I feel good taking 10,000 of that. Let's get the manager. And let's open a vacancy for a couple workers. Um, then... Mm, can I see, actually, what... Oh, I can't see... No manager trading post. Okay, okay. Let's just wait there. I know that there's a city which takes uh, charcoal, so that's uh, something I will slot in definitely. Uh, then let's see what we could take here. Beetroot, I believe, is in this marketplace. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's, in theory, one more thing which isn't being sold in the marketplaces. Is it cucumber? It's cucumber. 
Um, so we'll do that, cucumber. And we'll also sell a couple things which are already sold on the market, like peas. Oops, peas. Where is it, peas? And uh, what's another thing that we have a bunch of? Um, honey. So there's two places to get honey, I guess. Um, honey? Okay, let's go. And there is the manager, it is Vadim Pocotillo, who is uh, managing the marketplace. Seems okay. In fact, in that case, we'll put this house on hold. No carts, eh? Yep, order those carts. Uh, we'll put this house on hold and we'll put uh, Vadim in there. Let's see, Danilo is working on construction, that's fine. And Christina is unemployed. So it makes sense to uh, put him in this house and then can, someone can migrate into this house. So now we're working on one of those houses again. Seems okay. And uh, Ivana Peretz, who works in the market stalls, chilling over there. Two women are looking for jobs. Okay, can we give them those jobs? Not really at this point. Also, I think I'll already slot in something over here. Um, and only hire women and children for the charcoal piles. Let's see, there's a well over there. Let's also get a well over here. Something like this. That looks good. Love it. So, let's see this house get built. So there's another house. I'll also put this house on hold because that will be, um, um, I will use that for whoever ends up managing the farm. But uh, winter is already setting in, so I do want to get through this little building queue and then we'll make a cut, or at least get the farm. And probably also the village houses here. And I'd like, yeah, this one first. New family into our town, the uh, Tunic family. So, uh, three adult people. That's very nice. They brought in their own salo. Which, at some point, we will make ourselves as well, but it will take a little bit. Farm is coming along rather nicely. But, of course, that uh, stands to reason with so many builders working on it. And yeah, here we have enough firewood. Here we have enough charcoal now. And here we have enough uh, in our storages to uh, make it through the winter, I think. So people are loading the charcoal into the trading post. Um, can I now see what the cities need? No, I have to get a messenger from there. I could also look it up on the wiki because it's fixed for every game. Ah, the messenger from Merefa. And they offer us uh, a couple of things, which could be interesting, like warm clothes. Um, do our people need warm clothes as of yet? Like, let's take a couple of people here. Warm clothes, three out of five. Uh, Kirlo, four out of five. The wife or mayor, three out of five. And three out of five. I don't think we need warm clothes right this instant. And the other things aren't really necessary as well, either, um, because we don't have our weaver and stuff yet. Uh, we could instead sell some stuff. Um, 
we have... Uh, we don't have enough metal parts for this. And you don't want charcoal, that is tragic. Um, and we don't, we don't sell anything that you want, actually. That is so sad. We actually have no iron in storage either. Yikes. We do have some in our smithy, but... Yeah, please finish this farm, because that will also help us uh, start to uh, sell stuff. So we can turn around this rather dire... This rather dire balance. It's the start of the new year, and we're still building that farm. And like I said, I want to uh, get that farm, get those two houses, and then make a cut. I think it should be doable to do that within the next two months. I'll actually probably make the cut after the farm. And there we have the farm. That is great. Um, doesn't make sense to order plows yet. And uh, let's get the manager. Let's get... Um, like, two workers in here for now. And in fact, I think we can already do seasonal hiring. We can't. Is that... Oh yeah, manage seasonal hiring. There we go. Um, so now we can say the um, on months are March, April, May, I believe. As well as, I think, September, October, November. And uh, within that time, you can uh, hire... A lot of people and uh, yeah apply this to the farm and we can set up one field mm, let's do that into mm, let's do that in this space can't line it up perfectly but that's fine uh, our uh, foresters can take out these two uh, f uh, trees and then we can start uh, putting down something here. And uh, probably we can already start thinking about in a second field. But actually that kind of gets into the problem of... Yeah, we're... Might just not get a nice triangle shape. That is something we might just have to compromise on. We'll do wheat there for now. That's fine. Anyways, that is 1723. We've managed to set up a trading post and finally a farm, as well as uh, provide most of the housing in this second little commune. We've grown to 44 people. So, YouTube, I think it's time to make a cut there in our nice little town of uh, Nelonivka. I think I'm sticking with that name. So, if you like this episode, then do please leave a like. If you want to comment it on, uh, if you want to comment on it, then please do. And if you want to know when the next episode goes live with 7023, then uh, subscribe and ding the bell and you will stay notified. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.